All right, in this video, I am going to outline what we are doing over our winter break from school. Uh, we just wanted to kind of do a review of the systems that we'd already covered. So in the first semester of our second year, we did GI, then cardio, then respiratory, and then our last one was hematology and oncology. So over break, we just wanted to spend a day or two reviewing each of the different subjects. So the first two days, we are... Um, going over GI. So this video will be what we're doing for the review of GI. So I have the BRS physiology book and I started off just reading that GI chapter and that was really helpful because we haven't had physiology since uh, last spring. So I was a little rusty on that so it was kind of a good review. And then the BRS path book. I, we read the, I think there's a GI one and then there's also like a liver and pancreas chapter. So those are chapters 50, or 15 and 16 out of that book, if you have that. And then the other one we did, just a quick review of the farm on GI. So staying true to everything kind of systems-wise. So we use this book um, for the review of GI. And there's really not much in this book for the GI pharmacology. So we looked over the anti-helminths. I think I'm saying that right. And then there's a chapter on GI drugs in here. So those are chapters 53 and 59. And then, so that was all kind of review of that. And then we went over the GI chapter in the first aid book. And that was nice because the first aid book goes over anatomy, the physiology, the pathology, and also the pharmacology. So this was kind of a, you know, what what did you just get out of those books you just read? Was it important? Maybe the stuff that wasn't too important, you don't have to focus on. So we did that the first day, and then the second day of our studies, we kind of just did a big review of it. So we have the Robbins and Cotran Review of Pathology book, so this one. And there's three chapters in here kind of relating to the GI system that we just went through the questions together, answered them on our, on our own and also together, and then looked up at the answers at the end of the ones we got wrong to kind of review for that. And those are chapters 17, 18, and 19. And there are quite a few questions in this book, more time than I thought would be spent on that book. And then also the GI section of the question and answer first aid book. And then also the cases, kind of summarize it. I mean, how many times can you hear about Hirschsprung's disease? I hope you have that figured out by the time you finish reading all that. And understanding differences with ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. If I didn't have that down after my class, I definitely have it down now after going through it that many times. So that's what we're doing for the review and we're enjoying our, our break as well. We're spending um, anywhere from four to six hours a day and then the rest of the day is kind of ours to hang out with family and to do other things. And also I should mention our school pays for a Kaplan course. So we ended up going with the Kaplan High Yield and also you get the Kaplan Q Bank with that. So I've been doing random questions here and there, just you know five question tests. Kind of randomly, I'm kind of a questions bank um, freak. I like it. I've already completed 8% of all the questions for step one. So doing horrible, by the way, on the actual percentage, though. I think I'm at 42%. Not so great. But hopefully that'll definitely go up in the next six months. So it's good to get my baseline and see where I'm at and how far I have to go. And that does help having the question bank because... As some questions I've already answered, I can go through now and I'll be reading the first aid book and I'll be like, oh, they definitely, you know, spend a long time, a lot of questions on the GI hormones. So it's, I made a sheet of the GI hormones because I know that that was a frequently tested question. And also Hirschsprung's disease. I don't know why, but that is either the answer on questions, but a lot of times it's just um, one of the answers that you know is not correct. So make sure you know, so my tips for the GI so far from my studying of it is no Hirschsprung's disease and no the GI hormones. So I hope everyone's doing well and that's our GI study plan.